All right, so I'm heading home from camping this weekend. Uh, I tried to do some video for you guys uh, this weekend. I uh, headed up to La Mola Lake outside of, um, well, in Southern Oregon, it's not too far from Diamond Lake. More people are familiar with Diamond Lake than they are La Mola, but it's a really pretty area. Uh, up in the mountains, it's great. I got some drone footage and everything, uh, kind of the location. But the problem was the mosquitoes were bad again, and I just, I don't know, I just have a really hard time getting good video when I just feel like I'm struggling the whole time against mosquitoes. And we're late enough in summer now that they've turned on burn bans, so I couldn't have a campfire, couldn't do anything like that to help kind of distract them. So I, I ended up actually spending a good amount of the weekend still enjoying myself because it's been extremely hot in uh, central oregon we've been getting up into the hundreds so it was really nice and weather wise and pleasant to be up here in the mountains uh, but i spent most of the weekend just kind of hanging out in my hammock along the, the lake and swimming and, and playing with the dogs in the water and, and stuff like that and quite honestly i just didn't really feel like that was going to be uh great video material so that's what uh, the reason why there ain't much of a video this week. Uh, I, you know, I don't know. I just couldn't. I just couldn't really get into the, the mood. But now, one more thing I want to talk about with you guys uh, before I let you go is give you guys a little bit of an ec Oregon eclipse update. So we've had a lot of forest fires going on in in Oregon, and there's a lot of smoke right now, and visibility has been extremely poor. Uh, in fact, today it's really bad. Now, the last couple of days, not so bad. So it really just is going to depend on where you're at and what the wind is doing is how much smoke could be affect your visibility of the eclipse. Also, you know, at the time of this recording, we got two more weeks. So hopefully maybe the four uh, wildland firefighters will, will get a, a handle on some of these fires and that will help clear out some of the, the um, smoke that's in the air. But right now, uh, there's been days it's so bad that uh, typically from my house, I can go out hiking some trails and have a clear view of the Cascade Mountains. And as of last week, uh, I haven't been able to see the Cascades at all. So that's definitely something to think about for those of you that are, that are coming from you know, long distances into Oregon. You know, we got a couple weeks, but I would, uh, I would kind of keep, I would keep an eye on what's going on there as far as, uh, as far as the uh, smoke and uh, what, what we got going on. But anyways, uh, that's all I really have for this week. Sorry, I don't have a little bit more for you guys. The, you know, I, I don't know. I kind of struggle every year about this time of year with uh, trying to make videos because you know we got, uh, like I said, burn bands are on. We can't do campfires. It's hot. Typically, I'm just, you know, maybe sitting along a lake enjoying a beer, and I just kind of feel like there's just not a lot to video there. But I am got a couple things going on the next couple weeks. Uh, uh, next week, I am going mountain climbing with a, gr a small group of people. We are going to backpack in one night, and then we're going to climb up to the top of Middle Sister. I am going to try to video that a little bit for you guys. And then on top of that, the week after that is the, is the week of the eclipse. So I do still plan on trying to do something, you know, regardless of the smoke, I do plan on trying to get out somewhere and see if, uh, see if we can do something. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm teetering on two options right now. I'm teetering on two options and maybe you guys can help me on what option I should choose. I'm teetering on the option of going out and camping, just camping out somewhere in one of the locations I've scouted or CVT is putting on a group camp, uh, and I was thinking about make you know going to that because I thought that would be kind of fun to be able to get together with a bunch of like-minded people and you know that are into the you know um, off-road camping and truck camping like I do and hanging out with them. So I'm uh, I'm kind of back and forth, and one of the reasons why I'm a little hesitant on doing the CVT camp is. I'd have to drive quite a ways to get to where they're going to be camped at. And even though they are going to be camped on some private land, so I don't have to worry about not, not having a space, the problem is I'm concerned about what the traffic situation is going to be in Oregon. 
and how hard it's going to be for me to get there. So I'm kind of back and forth. So you guys kind of maybe give me some ideas of what, what you think you'd like to see. Would you like to see uh, like a group event where there's, you know, a lot of, where maybe I can show off a lot of different people with CBT that are uh, doing the CBT rooftop camping and maybe different rigs and how different rigs are shut, set up and everything uh, and how different people are doing uh, are doing this type of camping or would you rather me just be off in the middle of uh, wherever I can get to and just doing a camp um, and uh, of the uh, eclipse so uh, I'll, I'll look for you guys' feedback on that but anyhow, I'm going to let you guys go. I uh, hope you guys are having a great summer, and I'll see you guys again outside.